hello everyone and welcome to my channel how is everyone doing today i hope you're good um so in today's video i wanted to share my skin brightening um routine this is a non-bleaching skin brightening routine this is a routine for when your skin is feeling dull or looking dull to you and you just want a bright look to your skin i made a sit down video on this so i thought to show you guys how i do it so maybe you can get a proper hang of it So this first thing I would do to kickstart this process is to get into my skin with a body brush and this is my personal preference for this brush, the ones with the silicone massage tits. So um, it also has like the brush bristles as well which would help in like exfoliating my skin. So while my skin is dry before I get into the shower, I would then gently go over my skin with the brush bristles so this process is called dry brushing i don't know if i mentioned that already and it helps in exfoliating the skin gently with the brush bristles and it can also help in firming the skin and a lot of people have this in their skincare routine as a way to get rid of dry flaky skin and encourage blood flow to certain areas of the body so here i'm just showing you guys a close-up of my um elbow so i'm just showing you guys what dry brushing can help do as you can see there's like some dry particles on my elbow and this um happens a lot with like drier areas in the body like the elbows the knees and your knuckles and i also go into my underarm with um, the brush as well to just get rid of dead skin cells so this process is not just beneficial in taking away dead skin cells but also helping with blood circulation across your skin and then i felt like blowing you guys a kiss and then another kiss and then i get into the shower next so when i get into the shower at first i check the temperature of the water you now you don't want to use hot water to shower you want to use warm water or preferably almost cold water and next i'm going in with a shower gel and this is a lightning shower gel and this one is a silky white carrot shower gel now you need a lightning shower gel don't get me wrong i'm not trying to get you to bleach your skin or this is not a skin bleaching process but the skin lightening shower gel is to give a brightening effect to your skin you can use a lightning shower gel or a brightening shower gel but something that just picks up your skin a little bit more than a regular shower gel and i forgot to use like soap on my face first so I'm using extract soap on my face it's also a lightning soap on my face and then I'm getting into my body with the shower gel and please I wanted to put it out there that I'm wearing a bathing suit to shower because I'm obviously filming a video please don't come for me because how else would I film a video if I don't wear something to actually shower and yeah so i'm just going over my skin with like the shower gel and like i said it's nothing too personal it's nothing too deep it will not bleach your skin because it doesn't stay long so next with my exfoliating gloves i'm going to be going in with my scrub and here i'm almost running out of scrub so don't be like me you can make yourself a good amount of scrub before this process and i didn't know i had run out so much and i'm always very generous with my scrub so that's why i run out so fast um so i'm just going into my skin with a lightning scrub and this one is from my brand hot canics but um nonetheless i have um a skin lightening scrub diy on this channel that i just made not long ago i showed you guys how to make very easy you can make your own if you cannot get your own scrub or i also have a recommendations for good lightning scrubs as well on this channel so you can definitely pick any one of that and do this process so i'm just going over like harder areas in my body that's like my knees and my elbow and making sure that they get all the tender loving exfoliation that they need and then the rest of my body and now once i'm done i'm just gonna go over my skin with water that's warm water so um i'll just rinse that off and then go into my face with a clarifying cleanser now i'm using a clarifying cleanser because i had already used a lightening soap so i want to reduce the chance of the soap staying too long on my skin if there's anything left so i'm washing my skin um or my face 
with a clarifying cleanser to get the effect of the lightening off now I'm going in with um, a cleansing oil for my body and now this is um, a tip I wanted to include most times when you use like skin lightening soaps they tend to be drying on the skin so now I'm just going over my body with like a cleansing oil this is totally optional you don't have to do this one but I just don't like my skin feeling dry when I'm out of the shower so I'll just go over my skin lightly if you notice I'm not using sponge anymore I'm just rubbing the cleansing oil all over my skin and then I would definitely rinse my skin once I am done putting the oil on my skin the cleansing oil like i said this will make my skin not feel stripped and by the time i walk out of the shower i still will be feeling um moisturized i will not feel dry if you get what i mean also please remember that you need to use lukewarm water because using hot water would only strip your skin of all the natural oils on your skin as at this moment so it would be pretty much useless to do this step so next i'm out of the shower and i'm just going to go into my face with a hydrating toner and um, this one is called sicaronic i think and it's just a random hydrating toner and then i'm going into my skin with the snail mousine essence and this is to add more hydration to my skin like i spoke about hydration in that video it is very important if you're trying to brighten your skin you need all the moisture and hydration you can get our skin loves its moisture and hydration and now i'm going to go on my body with this topic cream Mellow lightning lotion and this is the one I choose to use now by daytime I'm trying it out currently and I like it on my skin and um, it has sunscreen as well hence why I like to use it in the daytime so I'm just going over my entire body with a good moisturizing lotion that does contain sunscreen because that would also protect my skin And next I spoke to you guys about beauty oils and here I'm going to be using the golden glow oil from my brand organics as well and as you can see I ran out already I'm always very generous with beauty oils I love this oil with my life I'm always using this oil it loves my skin so much it has changed <laughs> okay let me not brag too much about it but it is lovely for my skin and now I'm just going over my skin with that and I'm still squeezing <laughs> as much as I can out of the bottle and then going over my skin with it I I was struggling this much because I hadn't like restocked or made new ones so that's why I was still struggling with like the old bottle and I needed to film the video so next I'm going into my face with a gel moisturizer and I have combination skin so during the day I would prefer to use gel moisturizers because I do not want to be oily but I want to be hydrated and moisturized so here's what my skin looks like once I apply my gel moisturizer on my face and next of course the queen of queens sunscreen <laughs> definitely sunscreen and here i'm using the two finger method to just apply get the right quantity that i need and then i'll go on my face with that and here i'm using the cosex um aloe soothing sun lotion i love this sun cream so much i thought i was in love with other sunscreens until i started using this one it is lovely and here is a hack during the daytime i make sure to use sunscreen on my lips as well and i know i know i know it feels or sounds somehow but i do like to do that to also keep my lips protected from the sun as they do not really have lip balms that have sunscreen and we need sunscreen too for our lips so what do we do we improvise so here is my skin now that i am done with my routine as you can see the girl is shining really brightly she is glowing she is entering your eyes really, really gracefully, <laughs> and I love that for her. So I just wanted to show you guys my routine, and I'm done with it. Here's what my skin looks like. And yeah, if you're not subscribed, this is the time for you to subscribe. And if you have any question for me, please drop it in the comment section and anything you want to discuss obviously you can drop it in the comment section and if you do want to try this out this is something that i do at least for two weeks 
when I feel like my skin is feeling dull or looking dull and then I continue with my regular routine after that. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah.